New York City is throwing millions of dollars at its rat problem, from studies on the best way to store trash to a rat czar appointed last year. So why are rodent-related complaints still high? Investigative reporter Tim McNicholas's journey to find out led him to the rat czar herself. Isabel Stenson and her neighbors live in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, but here at Carlton and Atlantic Avenue, look, 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 look. This is what I'm talking about. you might hear a different name for the area. Rat Central. It's mad rats. Rats that look like cats. That's how big they are. Dozens swarm the block from an open trash room at a private co-op. Look how big he is. And then they come here and they go home and bring the food to the... To NYCHA's Atlantic Terminal Houses next door. He said, I'm on candy camera. Where the beasts burrow beneath bait boxes and scurry through the courtyard and playground. Children outside eating or anything like that, they can't even eat because the rats are running out trying to get them for their food. As you can see here, they bit into the wires. Now our lights don't come on. And New Yorkers are trying to bite back all over the city. 311 data analyzed by CBS News New York shows rodent related complaints jumped 22% from 2019 to 2021. And the numbers have continued to rise since then, with another increase of more than 7% since the Adams administration took office in 2022 and launched its War on Rats. The War on Rats. War on Rats. In the first seven months of this year, there have been more than 24,000 rodent related complaints. Last year, Adams appointed Kathleen Karate as New York City's rat czar. Why do you think that is, that despite the war on rats and all these mitigation efforts, that more people are complaining about that? There's lots of ways to look at our 311 data. So first I'd say, when people are using 311, it means they're active and engaged in reporting and being part of the civil, you know, civic engagement. So we appreciate that. Karate says one reason is that there are more rats due to climate change. In the winter, when it's cooler temperatures, they will slow their reproduction. Because we continue to have warmer winters, it means more time for rats to breed. The rat czar says complaints are down in the four rat hotspots or mitigation zones the city identified and invested millions in targeting, including the Lower East Side, where the Parks Department sealed off these rat holes in Columbus Park. Karate's team is hosting educational programs, even offering rat pack swag, trying to inform New Yorkers on ways to keep rats away, like handling your trash correctly. We can definitely improve the quality of life, um, but we need everyone on board. The city also plans to eventually require all residential buildings to put trash out in containers, not bags on the street, beginning with smaller properties this November. You're going to see like five or six or ten of them motherfuckers. NYCHA says they're working to address unsecured garbage at several buildings near the Atlantic Terminal houses, and they've been treating for rats weekly. People in the neighborhood say they've noticed some improvements since we started asking questions, and they hope these uninvited guests... That's a big one right there, baby. ...can scurry away for good. And Mayor Adams himself has gotten rat violations at his home in Brooklyn and just got one dismissed earlier this month. Records show he submitted security footage proving the inspector wasn't on his property and he argued the violation was likely intended for his neighbor, Christine. You know, Tim, it's likely safe to say that every New Yorker is going to deal with yeah. rats in one way or another. Oh, yeah. Even some visitors. That's because the they're, truth. they're everywhere. Yeah. Did the city mention if there's any solutions on the table? So actually, next month, the city's going to host a, a rat summit. They're going to mm. convene all the rat experts around the country, and they're going to share their, their brightest ideas. So hopefully they find some solutions at, yeah. at that summit. All right. Well, let us know what was said. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Tim.